We're Cobble and Cured and we're the guys behind a lot of the amazing British charcuterie available in James Italian and we're going to show you how we make it. There's four of us who own Cobble and Cured, myself, Lucy and Matt and Adam. And the reason we have moved into making these kind of products uh, is because there's, there's, it's not something we traditionally make in this country. It's, it's really important to get the right meat when you're making uh, charcuterie products. Uh, when, when you make a, a cured a cured piece, whether it can be coffer, brazzaolo or salamis, you're going to take about 30 to 40% moisture out of that meat. So you're going to really condense what's there. So the flavour is going to be much stronger and it's going to come across a lot more in a charcuterie product than it would in, um, in like a steak or something. Okay, so we're about to mix our fennel and garlic salami, which is of our version of uh, Italian finocchione. Um, as you can see here, we've got our spices ready. So we know we've got salt, sugar, fennel, garlic, uh, rosemary. Here we have the meat ready. So we've got 75 kilos of meat, um, of which we have uh, lots of lean meat and different fat meats, which we'll show you. So we're going to load the lean meat into the mixer first. And the fat will go in afterwards, um, just to stop us over mixing that fat and breaking it down too much. And we're going to apply the spices. Um, we're just going to mix it until we can see that the spices are distributed nicely. Now we're ready to add the fattier meat. When you make a salami, you want like really, really good, clean back fat in there. You want it sort of nice, harder sort of fat from the top of the pig running down the spine, or from the top of the leg, or from the top of the shoulder. And that fat is just going to make it really flavoursome, juicy, and it's going to stop it um, drying out through the uh, maturation process. Okay, so as you can see here, the meat and the fat are distributed like, quite evenly now. We've got um, spices, you can see fennel seeds, and everything spotted around there, black pepper. Um, everything's fairly even, and I'd say that's ready now for us to start filling it out into the casings. This is going to be matured for about eight weeks, and uh, it's going to taste absolutely amazing when it's done. We're filling it out into um, natural casings. So this is beef middle and uh, it's part of like, the beast intestine. And we're going to fill it out. We have a vacuum sausage filler, which is going to eliminate any air bubbles in the salami, which is really important for our, our product because uh, any, obviously any air pockets in the salami is a uh, space for um, bacteria development, which we do not want in there. Uh, it's really important we just take our time filling it out and uh, do a really good job tying it, make sure the salamis are as, as tight as possible. Um, so Adam's going to uh, obviously prick the salamis. And uh, the reason, so the reason that uh, we're doing this is just um, any sort of small air bubbles that are just underneath the casing, they can escape straight away. And um, uh, it just help any moisture get out through the casing a little bit easier. So now we've hung all the salamis, they're now ready to go through our maturation process, which starts over here. Okay, so we're gonna put the salamis in here and now I'm gonna put a probe into one of the salamis. From here, the uh, salami is going to be heated up. It's going to be, um, salamis need to be sort of slightly fermented, which uh, means in this process, we're going to bring down the pH level um, in the meat, which is then going to make it safe to mature. So compared to the salami we just made, um, and this one's about sort of five days in here, you can see it's starting to catch um, a lovely white mold growth on it already. Um, you can see the, um, the fat starting just to pop out a little bit as it's starting to lose moisture. Um, lose weight. Also over here through the um, pre-maturation process I have some pepperoni. It's a little bit darker so this has been smoked. So because of that smoke you don't really get any mould grown on the um, pepperoni. It will generally just stay that really nice ruby red colour. Okay so once the uh, salami has gone through the pre-maturation process which takes about one week it's going to come over here to our main maturation room where it will hang for the duration of the uh, maturation time until we achieve the right weight loss and it's a ready to eat product. So as you can see in here, we have plenty of stock. Um, the product is going to be hanging in here for between four weeks and even up to three, four months to years. We have um, coppers all over the roof, so we've uh, really using our space well here. This mould is a really healthy. This is what makes our product taste unique. Nobody else has got the same mould as us. This is grown completely organically. It's not out of a packet. And uh, this is what's going to make our products taste like cobbled and cured products. As we come down to this side of the maturation room, the products are going to be getting older and older. The salami which we made earlier, this is the same salami 
that are about six, seven weeks old now. So this is nearly ready to pack. You can see how much weight it's lost. Um, it's probably, it's nearly half the size of what it was when we originally made it. And, uh, and then it comes out this side to get packed. We supply uh, a big range of independent restaurants from small pizzerias and uh, just sort of small modern British cuisine restaurants, right up to sort of bigger restaurants like James Italian, Barbacoa um, and 15 as well. I do believe charcuterie is um, a really good option for people who want to eat less meat. When you come to charcuterie you eat small amounts and you enjoy it in a much slower fashion. It makes a sort of more sustainable um, process of um, consuming meat because uh, as a whole we need to find ways to eat less meat. So uh, by buying a really high quality product and consuming less you'll probably be just as happy if not more happier than buying a lower quality product and eating a lot more. Thanks very much for watching this video. Um, if you want to find out any more about Cobble and Cured, you can find our website in the description box below.